Well, it's about time I introduced to you the love of my life. Let's do it. You want to watch some Jujutsu Kaisen with me, Emmy? This is Emmy. Immissible for long. She is a cat that doesn't look like other cats. Looks like she got all mixed together, and that's why I call her immissible, like oil and water, but they don't really quite mix. They kind of sit on top of each other, and that's what she's named what she is. But she little precious baby. You might see her pop up in the background from time to time. Uh, make sure you give her a little hello, and you can even get her some treats if you ever want to go over on Throne and order her something. Uh, but you'll have to find that through my Twitch links down there below. Uh, in the meantime, everybody, shall we watch another episode? Okay, everybody, this is Season 1, Episode 7, starting in 3, 2, 1, play. Except for right here, where you do not get to surprise him early, but instead get attacked by somebody that is a mirror image of you, at least in name format. He's such a goofy character. I feel like I recognize his dubbed voice from something else, though. So if you do know, put it down in the comments below, because I would love to know. Who else does that character, or that person voice? Say your name! Yuck. I'm sorry, I'm gonna say it. It looks like a nipple. <laughs> I can't help it, it just does. Ew. Step out of it. Yes! Mm -hmm. Yeah, you said like eight or nine fingers? <laughs> yeah, I can't help it. He, even at least when he pulled out of the wall, looked like that. He so did. I'm sorry if I threw anybody off with that comment, but you know, I can't help it. It's not that kind of channel, but I can't help but see it when it looks like exactly. <laughs> you want to dance, cat? Then come over and hang out. No, probably not. Uh -oh. Anybody, if you are still hanging out with me all through these openers, too, I highly recommend you get something to drink. Make sure you're treating yourself right. Get out of bed and go get yourself some water at the very least. No sass. Okay, so there he was right there. It's so fast that you can only pick up on some stuff sometimes, too. But there's certainly, like, him unzipping. I'm waiting for that. There's the guy with the scar. I don't know if I ever caught his name. We still don't know who that character is. And here we go. Episode 7, Assault. Bugs? It's the similar backing of the other one, the other special grade, that was, like, wrapped around. Glitch. Oh, 
Oh, he's hot. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mm -mm. I thought you were also supposed to capture him. What? I mean, I don't... Interesting. So he's still reaching out? So it's just, it's a slowdown? No. It's like a full on barrier? This is why you said you had to be captured. Ooh, buddy. But my first thoughts are like, there's so many animals in that forest. <laughs> oh no. Not, not in fight animes, it's okay. Everything's clear in a fight anime. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And geek sploosh. Yeah. So you're gonna try to capture. Using this as a training purpose? Oh my gosh, what an insult. That's such an insult, dude. I thought he was gonna like say, you can take the rest of this. <gasps> oh my God, yes. This is my favorite thing ever! I'm so sad at this moment! I was just like, yeah! It's a, the weird underwater thing, but it's fine. It's a very good movie. If they had just, like, cut the underwater bit, it would be way better. Uh huh. But can we finish Lord of the Rings later? Cause uh, why not?
domain stuff. I just am uh, full DD from Rograt mode. <laughs> well, yeah, but not. It's, it's different. You're there to watch and learn. You're not. You're fine. Chill out. It's like choosing your field for a fight. It's so dreamlike, you know, where you just like in insanely just, I need this here, bring it to me. Papa, this is where we go to fight now. And now we go to fight on his turf, quite literally. But I wonder, I, I think that means that they, like, got teleported to this thing. It's not, it's taking place where they were. I don't know, I don't think it has to be. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, So you're just gonna want to kill him? Would it be- I'm just throwing this out there. Would it be more insulting to capture him and make him live under your rule? I'm just saying. Peekaboo? Peekaboo? Can I have a little peeksy? Is he not gonna have eyes? Oh no, he has pretty eyes. Wow. That is a pretty man. <laughs>
That's horrifying. Scalped? Mm. Uh, that doesn't kill him? Question mark? Maybe not. Maybe not. That's horrifying. Imagine if he ever switched sides. Beautiful eyes. I'll tell you what. See, that's why I was saying maybe he is, maybe he is part of the higher ups. Backwards. Is it backwards? Huh? That's not part of the curse, though. It's just like, it's just exciting to get it flowers, you know? Like poppies. <laughs> oh yeah, he has no idea. He's late, uh, sorry, I left him in the middle of the forest, question mark? That's funny. I had forgotten about the principle too. <laughs> Whoops. Now why can't your face be seen? I need to know! Did I get to find out now? No, of course not. Of course so, maybe. So trippy, I shouldn't assume things. <gasps> I 
Hanami. Okay. You can grow back, right? Halloween. So I learned a couple things. <laughs> First of all, uh, Gojo is a force to be reckoned with. We already kind of knew that from uh, previous episodes, but this episode we finally got to see like enough of unleashed powers. I don't know if it was going to be the ultimate powers, but I mean like, that's a lot of power that he has. And also second, I should make sure I point this fact out. He's very pretty. <laughs> He's got gorgeous eyes and uh, call me a fan already, but like, oh, when he takes his hair down and everything, oh my. Oh my. <laughs> so from what I can gather, he's got infinity, which is kind of like a shield. I was thinking it's like the space in between. My first thought it was like when he was talking about like, you can't touch me. It was like you infinitely slow down, like to the point of stopping. Uh, am I right with thinking that? Like they're still technically moving, but not. And that's what's making this barrier because he has the infinity is wrapped around him. So like you're doing everything and nothing all at once. So therefore that's what's causing the stop. So it's not an actual barrier barrier, but it is like a barrier in that regard. Uh, curse barrier. He's also got red, which is kind of like reminds me of like an exploding sun. Um, so there is that. And then his domain which I forget what the name of the domain was, but where that literally is the space where you are feeling everything and nothing and it's all happening infinitely at the same time. So you're just paralyzed because you can't, you, a person or a curse cannot have all of that feeling all at once. Uh, so wild, wild amounts of scary. Uh, glad he's on the good side because you imagine having that on the bad side. Uh, I, I don't know how any of the bad things could expect to fight him. The only way you can is to capture him. And that's what we're getting from, um, I looked up their name, Ghetto, the, the slash. I, I've only looked up theirs. I have not looked up the other stitches, but I'm like, I feel like I'm going to say stitches a lot. And I feel like between the two, there's one that is very much more stitched than the other. So uh, Ghetto being like, we have to capture this guy. I told you time and time again. You're not gonna defeat him with a fight. Um, so now we know that that's not gonna be something that he's gonna easily be defeated. Uh, could you fight him in his sleep? I just, I just, I'm not saying that we should, but I'm just curious. Just, I just, I'm curious. Just, just devil's advocate. What a slap to the face, bringing Itadori over and being like, "Yeah, you're gonna come watch this fight because uh, I want you to." And uh, this is going to be a lear good learning moment. Uh, this is what I want you to attempt to beat later on in life, but uh, watch as I stomp him and show you my ultimate powers while I'm at it. Um, very cool. Lovely, lovely learning moments. I, once again, am really appreciating the visuals. Also, knowing that when you go into a domain, you have to fight with cursed energy, otherwise GTFO. Uh, but you cannot get away from an attack there by the person that is, like, pulling you there. Uh, they have, uh, what is it called? It's like home field advantage. I, I forget what the, the terminology for it is, but basically that where it's just like, this is your element and therefore you will always have something 100% hit because you have chosen the playing field. Um, so I'm understanding this. It's always going to hit. I uh, wonder if that's going to come into play later where it's just like, it didn't hit me. It's like, but it did. So I don't, I don't know, like a secret little sneak attack like that. We'll see. I'll just have to remember that it always 100% hits. Um, meanwhile, I tried to grab the name. I tried to grab the name, but I forgot. I already like this curse that potentially talks backwards. I don't know. It got, it's very Groot-like, and I like them. The one that spews flowers or, like, makes flowers explode or anything. I wanted them to pull out that dandelion and just be like, 
and just like blow it into the wind when they are up on top. But uh, yes, I love it. I already love that one. He is, it's passive fighting at the moment, but there's a lot of things that nature can like screw up over time. So having that instant ability to have something grow like that, perfect. Which also makes me like curious and makes me just think a little bit about, probably has nothing to do with whatever, but I did spot in the opener, the very last thing is a leaf growing out of the finger. So question, will that actually have a finger in him or not? I don't know, but uh, I am gonna like throw that out there that I did spot in the opener. I do think that Jogo is going to regrow his body or have somebody else regrow his body for him. So I don't think that's the last time we see of them. It would be interesting if they had like uh, a handicapped head creature forever to be their carry around and everything. But I don't feel like this this show has had that much of consequence as far as like body losses. We've even gotten a whole heart regrown and stuff, or at least I assume so. I, I, I technically don't know that. Um, at least he, he is, his chest was sealed. But I, I think he'll get a body back and I think he'll be able to be a, another one of the bad team here soon. My favorite thing that I saw in this episode, I mean, a lot of it, a lot of it was really good, especially his eyes. But uh, the favorite thing that I had in this episode was noting Lord of the Rings on the, the movies. Well done. I got so happy. I was just like, yes, yes, Frodo Sam, I love it. I love it. It was just great. Positively fantastic. I cannot wait to see where the series goes and I'm excited and enjoying every moment of it. So I hope you are too. If you are, please hit that subscribe button. I will see you next time, everybody. See you around. Bye for now. Mwah.